night was thick with silence as Nicholas approached the house. Dark, lifeless, it stood like a statue of death in the deserted landscape. The wind whispered stories of terror in the branches of the dry trees, and Nicholas clutched his phone in his hand, feeling the dampness from his sweat. He entered the house, the atmosphere heavy and suffocating. The flashlight tore through the darkness, revealing empty rooms filled with dust and cobwebs. Suddenly, an unidentifiable sound echoed from the depths of the house. Nicholas clenched his teeth, his heart pounding like a drum. And then, the unexpected, the flashlight went out. Panic flooded Nicholas. Only the faint light from his cell phone screen pierced the darkness. Suddenly, music started playing on its own, an unknown, macabre melody that made his blood run cold. A shadow, tall and thin, flashed past the light of the phone. Nicholas felt a chilly breath touch his neck. Slowly, he turned his head. There, at the end of the hallway, a hooded figure was watching him. Her eyes, red as fire, pierced his soul. Terror gripped him. Running blindly in the dark, he desperately searched for the exit. The house seemed to labyrinth, the walls closing in on him. Finally, with a last-ditch effort, he managed to escape. He ran out of the house, his breath cut off, his heart ready to burst. He vowed never to set foot there again. To this day, no one knows what lurks in the abandoned house. Only Nicholas bears the mark of horror in his eyes, a silent testament to the shadow with the red eyes that guards the secrets of the night.